Hey everyone, so today I am going to be doing a review on the Ipsy bag versus the top box for the month of September. I'm a little bit late on this, but I had a really busy month of September. So I am going to get started with the Ipsy bag this time around. So um, that's what it looks like. It's blue. It has this flower pattern on it. It just reminds me of fall. Um, so yeah, I really like the bag. Um, I don't think I, yeah, I didn't do a review for last month's Ipsy bag, but I absolutely loved it. Um, and I'm currently using the makeup bag in my purse so um this one is really nice as well i still prefer last month's it was like purple and gold but this one is nice let me just get started with what's in it so the first thing is a kaylin lip balm and this is a tinted lip balm in big apple and of course it's red um what i really like about this month's ipsy bag is it contains a lot of makeup products that are very um seasonally appropriate so this lip color is going to be perfect for the fall time looks like that it's a nice rich matte red kind of reminds me a little bit of max ruby woo maybe not as um cool toned but it's a really pretty um lip balm. i was gonna say lip balm but it's not really a lip balm because it's like a lip tint i guess so um i have not tried it out yet so i can't tell you what it's like but i'm definitely gonna try this out for the fall time it also comes with a lip brush that's why it's so long so you just kind of twist the top off and you get this little lip brush it's um, really convenient in my opinion. I prefer um, lip products that are in pots like this to come with its own lip brush because you don't want to be outside or something and then just, I don't know, I'm just kind of a little bit of a germaphobe, okay? So I don't want to be out and about and need to put lip product on and have to use my fingers because that's kind of gross. But um, this I'm really happy with. So far I haven't tried out the product, but um, I like the packaging. <laughs> Uh, the next thing I was really excited for, this is a Butter London Nail Polish in La Mosse. And this is going to go on my nails next, or maybe not next, because my birthday is coming up. And I want to kind of do like something similar to what's on my nails right now, like a French manicure with glitter tips. But um, definitely after that, going into the fall slash winter season, this is a really pretty um, deep kind of brown red color. I don't really have anything like this. I have something similar from Revlon but it leans more red I would say so this is a great seasonal color perfect for fall. I don't own very many of these rich vampy colors but I'm definitely excited and the fact that it's Butter London I mean I love Butter London nail polishes so this is just a mini version um, probably about half the size of a regular Butter London polish but I'm definitely excited for it. Um, the next thing that's in here is the NYX eyeshadow in Kryptonite, and it's another gorgeous color for the fall. It's like a really dark slate gray with a bunch of shimmer in there. I will definitely open it so you guys can see what it looks like. It's actually sealed still. Looks like that. It's going to be really great for um, either like a smoky eye or maybe like a crease color. That's what it looks like right there. Very nice. Um, I love the texture of these. They're super soft. Um, I actually like the NYX single shadows better than the trios and stuff. I think that they perform a lot better. Yeah, it's a nice color right there. The next thing that's in here is a mascara. And this is the It's So Big Mascara. I haven't heard of this brand before. Um, but yeah, another mascara sample. I feel like we get a mascara sample pretty often from Ipsy. Um, the last one was a pixie one I believe I haven't tried that one out yet I'm currently using my makeup forever mascara once that um, is finished I guess I will give this a shot hopefully it's good and the next thing that's in here or the very last thing that's in here is a Jessie's girl eyeliner oh that's cool so it's one of those I haven't tried anything from Jessie's girl just because we don't have it in Canada so um, that's what I enjoy about getting Ipsy because it's from the States and you get to try different brands that we don't even have in Canada. So I'm excited to try this out. I was actually looking for Jessie's Girl the last time I was in the States and I couldn't find it. So yeah, I'm definitely excited to try it out. It looks like that. It kind of reminds me of like the Physician's Formula eyeliner pen. I'm not going to open this just yet because I'm still working on my Maybelline one but definitely after that's done I will be using this. So yeah this month's Ipsy bag it was pretty awesome in my opinion. I really I will use all these products that are in here and I like the fact that they are all makeup products no like skincare type products so I really like this month's Ipsy bag. My next thing is my top box. Oh my gosh when I got this in the mail I got 
I think three other packages. I got my Ipsy bag. I got a couple of things that I ordered from online. I got a dress and I got my Sephora order from online. And um, this came in a huge box and I'm like, what the, what, what did I order? I don't remember what I ordered, but yeah, this came in a box and this is huge. So this is the Chatelaine top box. And if you guys don't know what Chatelaine is, I believe it's like a Canadian magazine. And there's an issue of Chatelaine in here. So I'm going to get started with this. I did open these beforehand, but I haven't really used any of the products except for one because I wanted to do this review and it took me so long to do. But um, let me get started with the product that I actually tried. And this is the Zyderma HS Antimicrobial Skin Cleanser with Micro Silver. Looks like this. It's uh, made in Canada. It has silver salts in it. And basically, this is just like a skin lotion if you are acne prone. Um, I had a pimple that was on my chin earlier this month and I tried this out. Um, it wasn't bad actually. Um, I didn't really see a difference or anything like that. I didn't feel a difference. It didn't like tingle or anything like that. But um, I haven't used it enough to like really test it out. But yeah, that's that. The pimple is a really good size. Um, and the full size of this is 30 mils and it's $25. This might actually be 30 mils. I mean, it's pretty it's pretty big in my opinion. So that retails for $25 and it's by the brand Zyderma. Next thing I have here is a Katy Perry perfume. This is her new one, Killer Queen. And I've been wanting to try this out. My friend absolutely loves this. She got this in full size, so I'm definitely excited to try it out. Um, it has dark plum, red velvet, and cashmere slash liquid praline oh so yeah I'm excited to try it out it tells you all the notes that it has right there um, it's just one of those little spray things that you can put in your purse and this doesn't say it's oh it says it's a bonus a new charmingly playful yet lethally gorgeous floriental fragrance by Katy Perry so I'm definitely excited to try that out um, we also got a coupon for Shoppers Drug Mart. If you buy the full size perfume, um, 50 ml or larger, you get 8,000 optimum points. And this is valid until December 1st, 2013. Uh, I don't know if I will actually purchase this, but um, there's a coupon right there. And yeah, the bottle is really pretty as well. I really like it. So the next thing I have here is an issue of Chatelaine. <laughs> So looks like that. Um, I don't know if this is like an actual like for sale issue or if this is just like a top box exclusive because it does say top box here at the bottom, and this is the back of it. So yeah, and it has like recipes and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, Chatelaine is the number one magazine in Canada. I don't really read Chatelaine, but, um, I don't really read magazines, period, but, um, I'll definitely check this out, and it's cool. I mean, it's cool to have a full-size magazine, something to read, I guess. Um, and there's three more things in here. So the next thing I have is a diamond oil shampoo by Redkin. Looks like that. It's a really, um, good size as well. This is 50 mils, so... I'm gonna say that this Zyderma thing is full size because if you compare the two bottles, I mean, so yeah, $25 worth of product right here. The Redken shampoo here in full size, 300 ml, it's $18.99 and the conditioner is $19.99. I always wondered why conditioners are priced differently than shampoos if you don't buy it like in a drugstore, but anyways um that's what it looks like i'm definitely gonna check this out i'm gonna try it um and i'm dyeing my hair soon i'm gonna dye it red again because it feel like it's it's turning brown again but yeah um definitely we'll try that out and we also got the conditioner right here so um that's also a good size 30 ml and yeah so the next thing i have here is a matte setting powder by cover fx and it's in light Hopefully that will match me. I don't know. It kind of looks... Yeah, I guess it'll look like it'll match me in the wintertime or something. But that's that. It's by Cover FX. It's a really good size as well. I mean, I'm really impressed with um, both monthly subscriptions this month um, about their sizing. It's all big and, you know, you get to try the product out and stuff. 
Uh, for next month, I was actually going to get the, like, upgraded top box and get the one with all the, like, skincare stuff, but I decided not to do that. So, um, I'll be getting the regular top box for October, but yeah. This is, um, full size of this is $32 and 10 grams. It, um, helps set foundation, control oil, and minimize shine. I'll definitely try this out. So yeah, that's that. And the very last thing is a Benefit Professional. I've gotten this like three times. This is a really, really great primer. I, when I used to wear foundation, this was my favorite primer, but I don't wear foundation anymore. So, and it's been like a year that I stopped wearing foundation. So, um, I probably won't be using this anytime soon. But, um, I do really like that. That's a great product. And that sample size lasts super, super long. I think it lasted me last time around, like about a month or two months or so. And the full size of that is $34 at Shoppers Drug Mart and Sephora and Mural. So, that is pretty much my review for both monthly subscriptions for the month of September. Um, and I really enjoy both of them. I will use every single product that's in here, which is crazy because I usually, there's always like one product that's a dud. Well, I probably won't be using the primer, but um, it's a product that I know is really good. So um, I really enjoyed both boxes this month and I hope you guys enjoyed my review. I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.